Have you ever wondered what lurks in the shadows of some of history's most famous paintings? In this video, we'll explore five of Francisco Goya's darkest works. What hidden truths do their horrors hide? Goya was a true artistic revolutionary who pushed boundaries and experimented freely while believing firmly that art could catalyze social change. To truly understand his dark and haunting black paintings created from 1819 to 1823, we must know the historical context in which he lived and worked. The early 19th century saw Europe's political landscape transformed by the emergence of new ideologies like nationalism that challenged the old order. Goya's actions and art sparked this change. Though his paintings are often grouped with romanticism, they defy simple stylistic labels. The macabre intrigued Goya. After becoming deaf later in life, the Spanish artist grew increasingly isolated and morose. His shifting moods were reflected in his art, leading him to create some of the most unsettling images of his era. In 1819, Goya purchased an isolated estate where he created these works in solitude. His earlier reputation had been built on his comparatively lighter and more cheerful portrait paintings. But the black paintings express existential despair, anguish over the human condition, and fear of nearing death. Here are five of Goya's most haunting works. Let's begin with Two Old Men Eating Soup. This creepy work depicts two genderless, grotesque figures eating something sinister with bizarre expressions. The title belies the painting's morbid themes of death and selfishness. One figure has a skull head, while the other has a pig face, staring at Goya as if implying he will meet the same fate. Look closer at the skeletal face of the figure on the right. His sunken eyes and bared teeth suggest this is no ordinary meal. Is the other man's skull-like visage a hallucination born of dementia? Goya leaves it up to our imagination. Equally disturbing is the dog. Here, a small dog struggles to keep its snout above rising waters. Its cries for help seem to fall on deaf ears. Some say the dog symbolizes the forces that guide souls after death. The animal's desperation haunts the viewer. The dog represents abandonment showing Goya felt fate was beyond divine care. The bleak landscape offers no hope or respite. It suggests no rescue for the unfortunate dog, implying humanity's lot is hopelessness and emptiness. No list of Goya's darkest works would be complete without Saturn devouring his son. Based on Roman myth, this is among the darkest paintings ever made. Saturn's anguished expression shows he's shocked by his own monstrosity. Critics say it reflects Goya's fears of insanity and depicts Spain consuming itself. Minor details, like the victim desperately struggling, make it the most horrific in the series. The chilling depiction of the mythological titan consuming one of his children is gory in the extreme. Saturn's bulging eyes and snarling mouth make you feel his crazed hunger. The sun's anguished face only heightens the scene's brutality. This painting disturbs on a primal level. Speaking of primal fear, the witch's Sabbath conjures all kinds of uneasiness. A shadowy cult is gathered at night for some sinister ritual. Their distorted faces and menacing poses seem to threaten some unspeakable horror. The cowering woman resists but escape appears impossible. Of course, the giant goat-headed demon seems to forbid it. This painting shows a disturbing coven of deformed sorcerers in a barren landscape. The devil appears as a sinister goat. The lone woman refusing seems to indicate Goya's dislike for superstitions and witch trials. The painting evokes an uncomfortable demonic presence one wouldn't want to encounter. Finally, we come to Two Old Men. Here, a grinning corpse-like figure whispers to his hunched companion. Demon or witch, the apparition oozes malevolence. His skeletal hand clenches his victim's shoulder like a vice. 
the old man's helpless expression reveals the bleakness of old age and infirmity. The figures suggest Goya's own loneliness and descent into madness during his final years. Critics speculate a demonic presence may have influenced Goya to paint such disturbing scenes. Goya's haunted imagination produced many more spine-chilling scenes over his long career, but these five paintings offer some of his most nightmarish visions. Their dark themes and visceral impact leave a lasting imprint on the viewer. Nearly two centuries later, the black paintings continue to unsettle and provoke. Goya's genius lay in his portrayal of humanity's most primal fears of death, madness, evil, and the unknown. His work probes the darkness that lurks within men's souls. So, if you're feeling brave, spend some time with Goya's black paintings. You may just see the world a bit differently afterwards. With this, we're signing off for today, hoping this video brought something new for you. Enjoyed the video? Then hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more amazing art.